three minute round super middleweight contest. Timekeeper at the bell, Anja Ditta. Cliffy in charge, Darren Sargentson. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner, winning black shorts with red trim. He hit the scales, he will ever score seven pounds, four ounces. Comes to the ring this evening, contest number 43. From Manchester, Josh Crow. And across the ring in the red corner, ring the blue shorts with silver trim. He tipped the scales at 10 stone, 12 pounds, 4 ounces. Comes to the ring so far, perfect. Two and all from Brooklyn to Yorkshire. Stanley, a bit of history in his family when it comes to boxing. His granddad was a British and Commonwealth champion, and boxing is in the roots of his family. He says he owes a lot to his dad, who would work all day and then take him 45 minutes of training, wait around, come back, and he'll be very proud of him in here tonight. Yep, certainly would. Rowan Stanley, great, great young prospect, 2 0 at the moment, looking to make it 3 0 against a very tough. Josh Cook, who though most of the time loses his contests, always gives it a go. He's a very tough, stubborn fighter. So good test here for Rowan Stanley in only his third contest. Indeed, good pedigree as Stanley won the senior elite Yorkshire title and defended it. And he would have been in there with some really good, talented kids. So he's most certainly got more than a bit about him. And we're seeing it here in his third professional fight in Leeds, where you will hear the noise around us. He is a well-liked fighter, a well-followed fighter, as he takes a left hook into the body of Josh Cook, just above our commentary position here in Leeds. Yeah, great confidence start here from Stanley, taking the centre of the ring, working well behind that jab and switching those attacks to the body, as you said there, Darren, really slamming that left hook into the body as well. And Josh Cook can only cover up from that one. Nice little jab back there from Cook, though. Good pressure there from Rowan Stanley as he follows Josh Cook around the ring, constantly trying to sink some sort of shot into his opponent. Cook covering up well, just got that old school sort of style where he takes the leads down one side, takes the the backhand across the face makes it a very difficult target to hit. Stanley applying the pressure here in this opening round, but Josh Cook not making life easy for him. You're right about that old school style, that backhand across the face. You don't see that very often these days, do you? Nope, you certainly don't, and he does it and uses it well. Covers up really well, goes down and like you say, puts that hand across the um, the backhand across the face and makes it a very difficult target there. Stanley just missing the target there and um, Stanley is going to need to use his imagination a little bit here and um, be a little creative or it could become a frustrating night for him because like I say, Cook's one of those fighters that knows his way around the ring and as I say that, Stanley lands a good right hand there. Cook takes it well, but look, there you go. You see Cook there defensively very good, slipping, sliding on the ropes. And uh, yeah, as I said, Stanley, it could become a frustrating night for him because Cook seems to be enjoying himself in there, doesn't he? He does. I, I quite like uh, his, his defensive style, but I, I don't think Rowan Stanley will. He's going to be one of those opponents which is tricky to keep in the place which you need him for any longer than a few seconds because he'll defend himself and then he'll get himself out of there. But I'm sure Stanley's trainer, Seb Glazer, will be giving him plenty of good advice, good advice there in the corner. And as long as he comes out and sticks to his boxing and does more of what he just did, then he should cruise to his third win in his professional career. Yep, 
I don't think there's any doubting he's going to win this contest. I think we saw the pattern of the fight in the opening round where Stanley's going to be the aggressor. And Cook is going to be the defensive fighter and he's going to make things difficult for his opponent, Stanley. You know, Cook's one of those fighters that, like I say, although he doesn't win contests, he's one of those fighters that makes the opponent think and he's, you know, he's great for the development of a young fighter coming through because he does not make life easy, does Cook. It's a good jab there from Cook. Nicely parried by... Stan Lee's straight back on the counter attack and both of them throw left hooks at the same time and land at the same time. Yep, simultaneous hooks and Stanley come back with a lovely good left hook there as Cook and his backs to the ropes there to us. Um, the referee just warning of those punches to the back of the head but the two of them get straight back to action and the old school style of Josh Cook continues as Stanley tries to find a way through yeah Cook doing a good job defensively in there at the moment Stanley just needs to settle down find the range with that jab and start putting the shots together because one thing I can guarantee is that he's not going to get Cook out of there with a single shot this is going to be an accumulation of punches that he needs to use against Cook here and it looks to needs to look to systematically break Cook down as opposed to trying to take him out of one shot because Cook's been there, seen it, done it. You're absolutely right, Spencer. He will know a way out of there, but the crowd sense that Stanley could have Cook in trouble here, but I'm not sure if he's in any trouble because he's been there and done it, got the T-shirt and everything else as he meets Stanley in the middle of the ring once again. And Stanley tries to measure his man up as he keeps a firm eye on him and that was a good left hook which just clipped the chin of Josh Cook yep solid left hook there from Stanley to see, see him build on that now put the right hand left hook in again there he lands the shot but we need to see him follow up he needs to go into phase two now if he's gonna start to try and break Cook down who's doing a great job defensively comes back with a nice jab of his own and says listen mister I'm all right in there right now Stanley is doing a good job of when Cook does come back with stuff he returns almost immediately to say hey I'm in charge here and then gets his man on the ropes and lets his shots go again but he doesn't seem to be able to keep him there long enough to be as, a, as a effective as he needs to be. Yep Stanley just trying to adopt that peekaboo style now trying to draw Cook in to close ranges where he can get in there and land those shots, put those combinations together. It's a good jab upstairs and followed it with a decent jab to the body, but Cook comes back with a couple of decent jabs of his own. Big what are you impressed with then with Rowan Stanley? What's sticking out for you? Well, do you know what? I think that, you know, his foundations are really good. He's got a great shot selection. He's there. He's trying to use his imagination, but he's in with an opponent in Josh Cook that is very, very difficult to pin down. You know, he knows how, knows how to utilise the ring space. He knows how to work off the ropes very well. Like I said earlier on in the contest, he's that old school style where he takes his hand over, takes himself down. So it's a good learning curve, this for Rowan Stanley who undoubtedly is going to win this contest but it's how he does that you know you know he's going to have to use his imagination he's only having his third contest but like I say he's doing a good job in there so far showing us that he's got a lot of potential that's for sure is it as a fighter is it sometimes quite difficult when you've got someone like him in comparison to a really tidy compact fight who's like 2-0 3-0 whatever because they're harder to work out they're harder to pin down they're harder to do everything Absolutely, and it's very difficult to fight someone that's not really coming to fight as opposed to, and that's no disrespect to Josh Cook, but not coming to fight, but more to give him the experience, you know, mess him around a little bit. And I think that that's a moral victory for, for Cook, that, you know, if he can get through there and make the kid frustrate the kid a little bit, as he's doing with Rowan Stanley a little bit, if he can do that, then that's a, that's a moral victory for Cook. So he's doing his job in there right now. As you can see, look, rolling well on the ropes, nothing landing there. Stanley throwing the shots, but not really getting off with anything. 
or getting any success and that will be the frustration for Stanley who lands well on the counter there and again with a hook and that's where he's getting success here Stanley and I'd just like to see him build on that come with something after that don't just finish on that hook and it is a left hook which is working well for him like you said a couple of times he threw that and it landed cleaner than any of the, any of the other shots which he's thrown but it would be good to see him follow up with with a bit more let his hands go but he's winning comfortably he's learning lots and I'm sure Seb Glazer will be happy with what he's seeing yep this is a great learning fight for Stanley because he's him with a very experienced guy who knows his way around as I've said before but I want to see a little bit more from Stanley now as opposed to when he comes on that hook I want to see him throwing some more shots he's doing the right thing Stanley as in he's trying to draw him close he's trying to get that's where he needs to bring the shots up there don't punch down on the target because Cook's moving very well so take half a step back and drive the shots up Stanley back to the centre of the ring and starting to look like he's ever so slightly feeling a pace by no means does he look knackered or exhausted but you can tell he's done a few rounds and that was a good right hand which he returned with which landed on the temple of Josh Cook and we know it landed because he gave him a bit of a nod to say yeah you got me with that one yep good body shots there from Stanley but Cook is covering them up well as well nothing really getting through from Cook who seems to be enjoying himself in there really Stanley pushing forward not really getting much success winning the rounds of course because the work rate is there but it's a tough old night for Stanley in many ways because it's frustrating Darren Stanley continuously trying to find a way through and I tell you what I bet he learns more from this fight than he will in his previous fights and many of his other ones yep another round in the bank for Stanley. As I say, he's hit a bit of thin air in that round as well. Cook doing a good job slipping and sliding on the ropes, making life difficult for Stanley. Rowan Stanley clearly winning the fight, but he's getting taught a few lessons in there, that's for sure. And he's going to look back on this one, as you rightly say, and you know, he'll take a lot from the fight. I think we've all done that early on in our careers where you go there and you get you come up against one of those journeymen who sort of kids you around a little bit, shows you, shows you the ropes, teaches you the tricks, and you look back on it. You don't realise it at the time, but you look back on it in years to come, and you go, you know what? That's where I, you know, that, that's where I learnt the trade, you know. And I think that this is a good fight for Stanley at this stage of his career because he'll be learning a lot in there. Ten seconds, corners. Absolutely, we're going to our fourth and final round. Seconds, huh? For the fourth and final round. Well, always nice to see the two fighters come together, show respect, and touch gloves. And the crowd have uh, enjoyed this one, especially the ones who have brought their tickets from Rowan Stanley, who's a very well supported fighter. And he's doing his friends, his family, his dad, his trainer, and everyone proud here in his third professional fight. Cook doing a good job defensively again, tying Stanley up. Stanley trying to go with that right hand, just skim the whiskers of Cook there. And again, Cook back to the rope, slipping, sliding, making life very difficult for Stanley. Stanley looking for that right hand. He's just trying to create an opening. He's trying to look for an opening, but Cook using his experience well. It's good work, good pressure from Stanley, is he? continuously just trots forward doing something throwing something working showing the referee that he is in control he is in charge of every minute of every round to make sure that he is victorious and gets to 3-0 and another stepping stone in his professional career as he throws yet another jab downstairs and continues to work upstairs and Cook doing what he's done in the three previous rounds slipping and sliding ducking and diving what he does best 
Is Sterling maybe starting to feel the pace just a little bit and that's where he's been loading up and hitting thin air a little bit. Defensively good from Cook again there. Stanley going for the big finish. But good Cook, head movement there from Stanley. Rolled under that hook, lovely. Yep. Stanley again trying to load the body, but Cook has it defensively covered again. It's been a tough, frustrating night in many ways for Stanley, but like I say, it will be one that he learns from because Cook is that guy who gives you those rounds, man. Good, vicious work here from Rowan Stanley as we go into the last moments of the fourth and final round. Really stepping into his shots, digging his toes into the canvas and Josh Cook just shoves him off there and goes back to his defensive work on the ropes as a right hand from Stanley gets through. Cook again defensively doing so well on those ropes. He's enjoying himself in there, Cook. Little smile there as well. There is, you could just see him. He, he's loving every moment of it. Stanley will be glad to hear that final bell, I think. It's been a frustrating night for him. I mean, listen, he's coming out victorious. Good finish here from Stanley. That was better work from him. Really loading up on those shots. But look, one winner there, Rowan Stanley for sure. But entertaining from Cook as well. I think it was an entertaining contest. And Stanley would have learnt a lot from that. Spencer, is, is that one of those fights where Stanley will go back to his corner? If, uh, go back to his changing room and he, him and his trainer will look at each other and they'll say he was a nightmare absolutely absolutely <laughs> you know I think that you always get those fighters and I think that people like Josh Cook are there to develop these young fighters who clearly have potential and look to go on and he will be boxing for some form of title sometime in the near future that's for sure Stanley as he develops in the next couple of years you know he'll be putting himself in that title bracket but this is where you learn. This is the apprenticeship right now. And people like Josh Cook are perfect for that. For the, you know, for the young talent like Ron Stanley. So, yeah, good, good fight. Very good performance. Well, let's get the uh, official decision from our MC, Craig Stephen. So, ladies and gentlemen, the referee, Darren Sargent, has helped boxers. I have his score totals. There is 40-36. The winner... It's the undefeated from Grimlington, Ryan Stanley! For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.